A recent academic report found that when OpenAI's GPT-3 produced a text output of 150 to 300 words, it consumed nearly 17 milliliters of water. Repeat that output 30 times and that's the equivalent of a bottle of water. Report researcher Shale Run also says they found that one major tech company's data centers consumed about 30 billion liters of water a year. That amount of water consumption is roughly equivalent to a major beverage company's overall water consumption. Run says AI is the fastest growing component of data center power usage. Data centers require water directly for generating electricity and also for cooling down the systems. A lot of data centers are using cooling towers, um, and that can be using a lot of water, which could be creating some um, potential drought issues in those uh, dry regions. But because fossil fuel power data centers produce carbon emissions, there's now a push for cleaner energy like nuclear power. Microsoft has signed a $16 billion deal to use Three Mile Island, site of the worst commercial nuclear accident in U.S. history, to power its AI data centers by 2027. Nuclear has very little carbon. However, in many cases, it's going to be increasing the water consumption. But using solar and wind will be both carbon efficient and water efficient. Um, but overall, we need to look at the uh, holistic environmental impacts, not just one thing. In my opinion, initially it's going to be challenging because of regulation and resistance from the communities because the communities would not like to have nuclear plant next to their homes. That's one reason why Yuval Bachar started Silicon Valley company ECL, which has built the world's first off-grid data center to run on hydrogen as its primary power. ECL's production system is completely off the grid. The hydrogen is stored in that tank, which enters through these pipes. You can see how cold it is if I touch it. That's really cold, negative 250 degrees Celsius, but it's heated up in this vaporizer where it becomes a normal temperature. I can grab this no problem at all. From here, it's delivered to a generator that delivers power to the data center. And the hydrogen component of H2O is key. When we generate energy with hydrogen, the byproduct is water and we take that water and use that to cool the data center. That gives us a huge advantage from not impacting the community we're coming into with water consumption. I think uh, technically it's gonna be feasible, uh, but whether we can use it at scale um, is another question. Getting sufficient amounts of hydrogen is a major hurdle, which is why ECL is working on building a production site in Texas where there are more abundant supplies. Experts like Bachar and Run both believe with data centers consuming more and more energy, it will take a variety of green energy sources to meet growing consumer demand while also preserving the Earth's natural resources. Mark Dew, CGTN, Mountain View, California.